Hello everybody, the Drafter here and welcome back to another tutorial in my Sky Factory survival series. This is episode number 24 and uh, I'm here at the Witchwater mob conversion station that we used last episode in the last episode to convert skeletons into wither skeletons if you remember but if not just check my previous video and today as I said uh, we're gonna create uh, some blocks that will help us fight a wither because if you summon a wither here mm, I don't think it's gonna end well for your ward or for you as well because yeah you're gonna fall in the void for sure so what are we gonna use is this item here that I can uh, septuple well you can't see anything because it's very dark but it's this one septuple compressed cobblestone which is made of five now form almost five million cobblestone it's from extra utilities of course um, and to create this uh, we will have to uh, combine as, as the NAI tooltip says almost five million cobblestone but how so let's take a look at compressed cobblestone compressed cobblestone you have uh, this one which is compressed cobblestone so it's like two time cobblestone and it's made out with nine cobblestone one two three four five nine arranged like this then we have the double compressed cobblestone which is made out of nine compressed cobblestone and as you can imagine triple made out of double quadruple made out of triple and so on and so on and so on up to the octuple compressed cobblestone which is insane 43 million uh, but for for what for our purpose fight the wither the septuple is enough and you will you must say why uh, because these two blocks they have been arranged by the creator of the mod extra utilities to act like um, like bedrock they are indestructible so no uh, creeper explosion no wither explosion can destroy them and this is very handy handy dandy but yeah five million cobblestone mm, it's not gonna happen manually we're not gonna make these blocks manually because we will need a lot so we're gonna try to automate these using this the cyclic cyclic assembler assemblers assembler date cyclic assembler <laughs> but yeah let's start with other extra utilities we need uh, we are gonna need a four transfer node to make a transfer node we need a transfer pipe so let's make some of these we're gonna need only one so just save them for future use uh, with this recipe you're gonna get uh, four transfer nodes item because you have let me show you transfer node also for liquids yeah I don't know water lava which water of course and you have two recipes one that gives you only one transfer node using block of redstone and the other one that we are using here is uh, using ender pearls because we have a lot so let's just grab those four we're gonna save those we don't need them for this project but yeah uh, then these guys here they can transfer blocks at an insane speed so to do so uh, we also want to speed up this and uh, create some mining upgrade so we're gonna need 80 of these <laughs> 20 by 20 per transfer node and a mining upgrade mining upgrade is made out of lapis iron and a pickaxe so I have 40 iron pickaxes created in this chest I'm gonna grab them and I'm gonna create all the uh, let's grab some just to demonstrate how to do that and I'm gonna create 40 of these mining upgrades so it's gonna give you two per uh, set of item so let's grab this and let's go on I will uh, bring you back in when I'm done creating the mining upgrades guy our last three mining upgrade are being created and yeah they're not very cheap but you're gonna see that they are very very powerful uh, because of what we want to do today so namely create a septuple automatically create a septuple um, compressed cobblestone so as I anticipated we're gonna use cyclic assemblers and they are created with this fancy recipe from thermal expansion chests machine frame thin gears copper and redstone reception coil you want to make eight of these bad boys over here let's grab them and they use schematic so a schematic is created with paper two blocks of paper and 
lapis lazuli. Let's create, let's take eight schematics. How do they work? And let's grab also a better barrel to store our final product. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, how do they work? The cyclic assembler use a schematic in order to know which recipe, which item create. And I um, made the little platform here in order to work that created this. So as you can see, I also have some other supplies over here. Let me swap to these uh, stuff over here. The glass, we're not gonna need it straight away, but we're gonna need the cyclic assembler and the transfers node as well. Uh, you want to create something like this. Uh, well, we do not need the torch anymore. So, uh, this is where we're gonna place our cyclic assembler. I found this setup on Reddit. I enhanced it a bit so that, yeah, this is basically where you're gonna put the transfer nodes. And yeah, as you can imagine, this is like the, the transfer nodes are gonna transfer the uh, blocks behind, uh, below them. And this is cobblestone. I placed cobblestone. And we're gonna place water, water, lava water water here so that it's kind of mocking a cobblestone generator it's not really a cobblestone a real vanilla cobblestone generator but yeah very close to it and then let me put down one block of dirt so we can safely place our cyclic assemblers so this is gonna be the front kind of front of our machine so we are placing one here shift click and place one here and one here so you can see they're connecting to the cyclic, cyclic assembler the transfer nodes are connecting to the cyclic assemblers then we have one two and three on top then we're gonna have uh, the last two here one and the second last here i mean the last one and the java barrel on the side of the fourth of the last uh, cyclic assembler so now we're gonna need to yeah, deconfigure everything, set this to ignored. Uh, the, the cyclic assembler, other than the schematic, this is the interface for the schematic, they also need power, so we're gonna have to provide power. That's why I have Leadstone Energy Conduit on me. So let me reset all the configuration of the machines, and then we're gonna configure them properly so that uh, a product of one cyclic, cyclic assembler is going to the next and you can imagine what we're gonna do here we're just gonna automate this so double co compressed cobblestone created by those two is gonna uh, go here and create double compressed double compressed from here it's going uh, here to create uh, uh, tribal compressed and uh, so on and so on and so on yeah yeah that's that's how it's gonna work and uh, yeah, let me finish these, this setup of my machines and I'm coming back to you guys. Whoops, apparently I misplaced one of my cyclic assembler. It goes here, not here, and the Jabba barrel over here. Hanging on the side, yeah, why not? So, compressed cobblestone is going here to make double compressed, treble compressed, quadruple compressed, quintuple compressed, Ooh, sextuple compressed and septuple compressed is created by this guy and is stored into the better barrel. So let's set up uh, these bad boys. Uh, but first, let's start creating the cobblestone. Uh, let's let's start the transfer nodes basically. And uh, let's plate. Let's put one block of lava here, one block of lava here. Then we're gonna put water here and uh, another block of water here. The last one is going uh, here, but first. Uh, let me destroy this block of dirt and let's place the energy conduct because yeah we're gonna need as I said gonna need to power up these uh, cyclic assembler so shift click and put uh, all the way over all of them these two are powered by the one below is if if you noticed I placed the leadstone energy conduit on the bottom and then just because I have a line of uh, uh, power here. I'm going to connect it to this block like so. Why not? Can I move here? Yes, perfect. That's great uh, Maybe yeah, or you want to connect it there. Well, whatever just connect it to the main line of your energy as you can see they are filling already with RF We're gonna use the RF made uh, from our magma magmatic dynamos and now just for safety and that's why i have some glass on me 
let's put some glass on top of the water and the lava at least the lava it's gonna be safer and let's take a look at the transfer nodes so the transfer nodes uh, they're gonna get well we're gonna need to bring uh, some cobbles let, let, first let's place the mining upgrades on all of them in all of them that's oh this guy is already starting because yeah great uh we need a, a a block of water here that's what we can do straight away the water is not gonna flow because there is a lightstone cell and whoops now let's take a look at the transfer node there you go it's already transferred 64 cobblestone that's you're gonna see how crazy is this how fast is this so let's go on the first cyclic assembler and let's make a schematic so i'll probably grab half of these what well, field again as you could see so let's take one of our schematics let's put the schematic in the slot for the schematics there you go and then let's grab some cobble and as you can see this is our recipe from cobblestone to compressed cobblestone let's press these and as soon as we enable these or put it to high or low or yeah, now it's on ignored but as soon as we uh, configure the blocks to get the input so this is the front of the machine so we want to configure the uh, left let's go from this side the right side and the back side to receive input so left side which is this one input there you go and the back side which is this one and the output uh, it's this one is gonna go on the right sorry on the left into the second cyclic assembler uh, look at that it already filled the inventory it's crazy how fast it is <laughs> let's do the same over here so let's grab the cobble oops not drop the cobble grab the cobble <laughs> and create our recipe they're not consumed they're just used to make the actual recipe same configuration this time reversed back and left is input back and left is input output is gonna be right this time but yeah we need to configure this one over here in order to receive items so input from left and right and we have already two three four blocks <laughs> of compressed cobblestone now let's make another recipe here for our double compressed cobblestone like so so nine compressed into uh, one double compressed and yeah the cyclic assembler is insanely fast you can easily uh, manage that so output is gonna be on the top side we are gonna move on to this one and let's set this to input yeah we already have one stack of double compressed cobblestone this time the output will be on the left there you go let's grab another schematic and let's make our schematic for the travel compressed cobblestone let's click on the input and there you go we already have almost half a stack of travel compressed and as you can imagine this is how we're gonna iterate so as soon as we get all the input there you go we are gonna make the quadruple compressed like so uh, i'm gonna speed up this in a fast forward until i can uh, because it's gonna take a while to make the septuple compressed cobblestone and I think now we have to wait a bit because the quadruple compressed is already a bit slow but we're almost there almost nine uh, just let me show you if you this is blank schematic because we don't have a recipe uh, created in the schematic slot but if we go over maybe let's go over here it's gonna be a bit clearer yeah schematic one double compressed cobblestone and you can reuse it of course if you change recipe and click on the green button over here um, and you can change it as, as I said but this yeah let's take a look at these uh the first look at this the cyclic assembler is insanely fast as as soon as you provide it with uh rf look at this it's not filling even one stack and it's creating the compressed cobblestone with just two transfer node with 20 mining upgrades you can experiment more with this but uh, yeah i'm quite sure that this is gonna do uh quite well it's just take a while Let's make the recipe there you go for this and we have quittable compressed cobblestone that's it's going here as an input and here as an output so uh, did i set the output here yes i did this is input uh why are not transferring uh input output 
Ah, there we go. Now we have a couple. Why are you not transferring it? Oh, I missed the... Sorry, the slots. Input. There you go. Now we should work and we make, we can create the recipe for the sextuple compressed cobblestone. Uh, it's gonna take a while for this already. And then for the sextuple, yeah, we'll have to wait. A uh, sextuple, sorry, we will have to wait even more. And it's going here in the job bar. So I will cut here. I will just wait until we have at least one sextuple. And we're gonna wrap the episode because it's already very long. But I wanted to explain quite in detail this process because it's very important to create a safe cage, a safe wither cage where we can fight in peace and quiet without, without the fear of falling in the void. So uh, I will check with you later, guys. So several Minecraft days later and real time in the real hardware, in the real world later, uh, basically I left the game running for the whole night, we got two. Two septuple compressed cobblestone, as you can see from the better barrel. Let's grab one and let's take a look next to the lava so you can see. Uh, it's very dark, it's very cool texture. It's basically the cobblestone texture, but uh, darker, darker, very darker. Let's grab it back and let's put it back in the barrel. Uh, the rate it's more or less like one every four hours or things like that. See how it's running very steadily and nicely. So we will not need a lot of them to fight the wither. Probably 18 or so. Uh, I'll make some tests in a creative world and yeah, uh, I'll present you in the next episode. Uh, how are we going to fight the wither? So yeah, that will be all for today's episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed and you really find this uh, this uh, useful for you for your world. Uh, this is very good for lag if you want to make it on a server. Lag free, lag free. <laughs> and uh, yeah, the septuple is very blast resistant, as I said, and we're gonna use it for fighting the wither in a safe way. And thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave me a like and a comment for suggestions or other things. And subscribe to be keep updated with my channels, with videos in my channels. So I hope to see you next time and I hope you have a good day. Ciao, ciao.